Every game has characters that players hate for one reason or another, but League of Legends players can oftentimes be a little more passionate than other gamers. Have you ever seen a fictional character receive death threats? Over the years, many champions have taken turns being the center of hate from players within the game. Whether that's from being overpowered, unpleasant to play with, or the players who play said champion having a bad reputation. Don't worry, we'll talk about the cat later. Today, we discuss the most hated champions throughout the history of the game. And speaking of things gamers hate, there's nothing worse than slow computers and a browser sucking up all of your resources. So to help with that, today's video is sponsored by Opera GX. Opera GX is a reliable browser that allows you to customize almost every aspect of your internet browsing. This is made simple with their built-in GX profiles. For example, if you're doing work or in classes, you can have a profile exactly for that that keeps your browser focused on essentials and stops any distracting notifications. Or perhaps you're a streamer or thinking of streaming. You can set up a streaming profile so that none of your personal information pops up while streaming. Also, if you need your browser to use even less of your computer's resources, you can set up a profile for that too. And then, for one reason or another, maybe you need a profile that automatically clears all of your browsing data upon closing the session. You know, for reasons. Alongside all this, Opera GX offers a ton more customization options and features. Animated backgrounds, the hot tabs killer feature, which allows you to quickly see which tab is using up your resources and stop it from doing so. Oh, and it's also available for mobile. So if any of this sounds good to you, download Opera GX today with the first link in the description. Timo. Armed and ready. If you go a few years back, that was the answer for the most hated champion. But today, players mostly collectively hate newer champions. Champions with overloaded kits that include multiple dashes and invulnerabilities. Today, a Teemo Shroom is nothing compared to whatever the hell this is. Oh, 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 what the f this is an April Fool's joke posted by Riot Games in 2017, which features a 360 Yasuo Windwall. Three years later, that is Samira's W ability. Move over Yasuo, the Tilt Queen is here. Now before going through specific hated champions, what about using real data over the years to actually determine the most hated champions technically? There is existing data for the most banned champions during each patch. So over the years, these are the champions players mostly don't want to see in their games. It's Zed. People don't want to see Zed in their games. Notably from patch 10.14, made on July 2020 to literally as of making this video, the champion Zed has been in the top 5 most banned champions for every single patch. This is almost 3 years of being the most banned champion. Specifically from August 2021 to today, Zed has actually been the number 1 most banned champion on every single patch except for 3 or 4 patches where he was overtaken by Belveth, Master Yi, and Samira. And although Zed takes the cake overall, for a while Yasuo was definitely up there in ban rates. I remember back in 2017 when Riot announced that they would change the ban phase from 3 champions to 5 champions per team. There was real concern that a champion like Yasuo would genuinely be banned in every game, specifically in the lower ranks where someone like Yasuo can really take advantage. In the end, it was fine. Mostly because Riot gave us more champions to worry about. Also, it's kind of difficult to shape up exact percentages for this, but at least for the past couple of years, the other champion that's also consistently in the top 5 most banned champions is Morgana. Which makes sense. Because no matter what, getting hit by this and having to wait a couple minutes before you can play the game again is pretty annoying. Aside from Zed and Morgana, Darius and Master Yi are also frequently in the top 5. Oh and on the flip side, as of making this video, these are currently the least banned champions in the game. Now let's get back to the general most hated champions. By the light! Lux is kind of a unique situation. As an in-game character, she can definitely be annoying, but so can everyone else. There's more than just her gameplay with Lux. At some point, Lux became the poster child for e-girl champions, or in general, there was an assumption that Lux was mostly played by women. 
So she became pretty unpopular with people who behave strangely around women. But that's a convoluted topic that's not as serious as it seems, just a few bad apples and silly stereotypes. However, among these sentiments existing, Luck started to receive a lot more hate due to it appearing like she was the developer's favorite champion always being kept somewhat strong in-game and receiving an overwhelming amount of skins compared to other champions. It became a meme that while some champions hadn't received a skin in years, here comes Lux with her fourth skin in the past couple of months. This obviously has something to do with the fact that very few players are buying Skarner skins, for example, and a popular champion like Lux sells really well. However, the truth is Lux isn't at the top of the most skins list by herself. She does technically have 18 skins, but 3 are prestige skins and 2 of them are pretty much the same skin. After that, she is followed by Misfortune with 17 skins and Ezreal, Ari, Akali and Sivir who all have 16. Aserio! Yasuo is by far one of the most hated champions, but he falls into a specific bundle of champions and players. I'd say Yasuo, Yone, Master Yi and maybe Vayne all share a lot in common though mainly the first two. Now all of these guys are very useful carry type champions to have on your team, but they also fall into the phenomenon that if they're on the enemy team, they have 10 kills, haven't died yet, and they're a few seconds away from killing you next. But the moment they're on your team, they can't get anything to work out, they're giving up out of frustration and taking you down with them. From my personal experience, Yone players specifically are consistently some of the worst possible teammates to have. They almost always carry an all or nothing mentality and they're generally not the nicest people in chat. Was that my first hater? Seraphine is a champion who was uniquely hated entirely outside of her gameplay. Obviously this is one of the most talked about subjects already so we won't spend too much time here. From her real life social media presence to her inconsistencies and errors in her lore, she quickly became pretty disliked by many players. However, a valid reason that Seraphine received hate for was her similarities to the already long time existing champion, Sona. Not only does she take her whole music theme, but her abilities are very similar as well. And despite stealing her whole vibe, she still has the audacity to be nice to her in game. Wow, Sona, your sound is so beautiful. Could you produce my next song? Although there are a handful of champions that receive a ton of diverse opinions, no one has split the player base as much as Yumi. From players playing at home like you and I, to esports players being paid a lot of money to play the game, all the way to the actual developers, everyone has had negative opinions on Yumi. On April 26, 2019, the gameplay for Riot's latest champion was revealed. A support character that could attach to a teammate and use their abilities while being completely invulnerable. On that day, players' reactions were split. Some thought it'd be a bad champion, while others believed that the concept could actually be overpowered. And in the end, both were kind of right. Due to the way Yumi is, in general she's not overpowered. But when she's in a good spot, she can be very annoying to deal with. And the numbers show it. In the most recent Worlds event, Yumi was in a strong state and she was picked or banned in 95% of all games. She was banned 68 times and only slipped into 8 games. And in all 8 games, the team that had Yumi were the winners. Overall, her biggest flaw is that when she is in a good state, she's not fun to play against or even fun to play with. Throughout the years, a handful of pro players supported the player's sentiment of outright deleting Yumi from the game. This is longtime veteran and world finalist Perks speaking his thoughts on Yumi on a broadcast. Okay, if anybody's listening to me, if anybody in the whole world right now is listening to me, yeah. and I'm pretty sure someone is listening someone to me right probably. now, you guys, like, you don't have to respect what I say right now, but you have to listen to it. Please delete Yumi from the game. Yes. Like, please, yes. please, let's, let's, all, let's all put a petition. Let's put a petition to Riot. Like, let's write it, let's send it. Like, let's, let's just put a petition to Riot. Let's delete Yumi from the game. It's anti-fun to play. It's anti-fun to play against. You don't want to have her, like, watch you all the time, be on you, you know, judge her every move. You don't want your support to, like, I don't know, eat a burger and a milkshake, like, right. doing landing phase as well. Like, that's fair. Like, I, I, just delete the cat. Nobody likes her. Um, yeah, and yep. that's about it. Yeah, Signed I'm, perks. Yeah. Personally, I've never been a hater of Yumi, but I do understand why people don't like her. However, people's wish may be getting granted. 
She's not getting deleted outright, but we're currently receiving details on updates being made that will significantly change how Yumi operates. The goal of these changes is to eliminate her from being relevant in pro play, and more welcoming in solo queue and to beginner players. We'll see. But these changes are coming in the next patch, so unless they fully turn around on this decision, this could be the end of Yumi's occasional domination in professional League of Legends. Fiora banned, Yumi's available. ST1 just gonna slam it. Oh boy! In the end, this video could go on for hours. Because regardless of what others think, we've all likely had unique experiences that have made us hate a champion for one reason or another. For example, I personally hate having Nasus on my team. Because the moment he's locked in, I know that for the next 40 minutes, this player is never going to group up with the team. Instead, he will periodically tell us how many stacks he has. And ever since this moment, this guy probably hates having Shen on his team. Shen f ult me! Hit the Nexus, not the Vlad! What the actual- Oh my f***ing god! I just broke my glasses.